Astros hosting the Rockies. The Rockies are plus 148 on the money line. The Astros are minus 175. The over-under is nine runs. The Astros laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 110, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two. And the Rockies getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 130, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win, they lose by one, you win. Neither one of these pitchers pitched against the opposing team either last year or this year. The Rockies are 4-6 and six in Freeland's last 10 appearances. They've won his last two. He's averaging 5 innings pitched and 3.4 strikeouts per game in his last 10 appearances. Belak did not... Uh, is four and five or the Astros are four and five in his last nine appearances. They've actually lost his last two. He's averaging five innings pitched and 4.1 strikeouts per game in those games. Head to head, the home team is eight and two in their last 10 meetings. The home team's on a four game winning streak. The Astros are on a two game winning streak. The Astros are eight and two against the Rockies in their last 10. The favorite has won the last two games. The favorite is seven and three on the money line. The favorite or the underdog getting or laying runs is 5-5 five and five in their last 10. There's only been two one-run games in their last 10 meetings. The under is 6-4 and four in their last 10 games. And the under 9 specifically is 5-4-1. and one. Now the wind is blowing out towards dead center field at 8.1 miles per hour if they have the roof open, which who knows. It's a 1 o'clock game in Texas in the middle of the summer, so I don't imagine that that roof should be open. Now, in their last handful of games against each other they played a four game set a two and two two games in colorado two games in houston in 2021 the rockies won the two games at home six to two and six to three and then the astros won five nothing and five one at home now the rockies have lost their last two games they're one and three in their last four four and six in their last ten the over under is five and five in their last ten games there's been a total of 17 runs 13 runs six runs and 23 runs in their last four games. Three runs and a loss, eight runs and a win, two runs and a loss, and nine runs and a win. That's how many teams they've, how many runs they've scored. The Astros have won their last two games. They are five and one in their last six and six and four in their last 10. And the over is five, four, and one in their last 10 games. There's been a total of eight runs, seven runs, eight runs, and 23 runs in their last four games. They scored five runs and a win, two runs and a loss, five runs and a win, and then 12 runs and a win. And they had me a little worried because I thought they were going to choke away the win that they had today. I'm going to take the Astros with the money line. I'm going to take the Astros laying the runs and I'm going over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.